Hello and I welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me John Jordan. So in this video I'm going to have a look um, for the first time actually at Legendary Heroes Unchained. So this is um, a game from Network who have uh, been a actually a mobile game developer for um, about 10 years now um, and they have um, a game called Legendary Heroes um, and they're doing a web3 version of it. Um, they've been in development for over a year um, and uh, this is sort of the first, this is an alpha um, version of it. It's playing in, as you can see at the bottom, it says alpha ends in 39 days. Um, this is the a browser version of it. The original version was on mobile, a, a network are known as a mobile developer. So I guess you know, it'll come to mobile at some point, but they're testing it all out on um, browser first. So, um, okay, so uh, Kit is telling me to uh, go to the marketplace. All right, oh, Oishi, let's have a look. Okay. So um, we're going to need to summon some heroes, obviously, from the multiverse, of course. Um, that, that goes without saying. Um, so we're going to mint a starter pack. Five cards per pack. So I should say this is a sort of a trading card game, in a sense. Um, in the sense that it was like a deck has deck building elements. I should, should put it that way, really. Um, OK, so let's open my pack, see who we've got. So you're sort of collecting these characters um, and obviously leveling them up and sort of building uh, building squads now. Okay, cool. I'm gonna have a little animation here. Now, okay, oh. So obviously a uh, blockchain thing, so we're gonna have to sign in. So I'll just go through uh, that process. Okay, so I think I've just signed in. I've just signed in uh, using uh, my email. So not doing any blockchain stuff at the moment. Um, Okay, so um, continue to the tutorial. So these look like um, some characters here. Um, okay, so she's setting me up with her mates. Okay, so who we got here? Okay, we're just clicking on these guys. Um, obviously, they're sort of you know the tutorial sort of selection. It's going to take up some energy. I've got sixty energy, um, so. Um, So, okay, so this is how the sort of thing plays out. Gracious, that's quite a big, <laughs> quite a big uh, dungeon. Okay, so I'm basically clicking on these, um, have these different options. I start here, I can do a battle or other things. Okay, the cultists are here. My heroes turn to attack. Okay, so select it. Okay, so you can see my five at the bottom, uh, their ones are at the top, so this is have the sort of um, oh yeah oh, okay so it's the basic attack there so I'm just cycling through that as my different characters are and I guess they I think they yeah as, as they get mana and different turns different op different options will be available we can see at the bottom here there's a little elemental system um, so it's, it's sort of like it you know in some ways it's a trading card sort of thing but in some ways it's sort of um, more simple in terms of I think how you're you know there's not you're not building positions on the in terms of the uh, you know, positions on the on the playing surface, or whatever you want to call it, on the table, um, and I don't think we have attributes. Um, so we don't. Have to, we, it's not like we have cards that will that will sort of do modify modification or something like that. So sort of simpler. Um, meat. So this is going to heal a hero to 100%. Expires. Okay. So I'm going to heal up. It doesn't really need any healing. I don't think does he. Um, but anyway, we've done that. It's, it's tutorial, obviously. So um, so I guess I'm just going to go through here. Oh, my skill is ready. Stable burn. So it's going to attack um, with some magic damage. I'm not even obviously not selecting any of the enemies. When that skull comes up, obviously, and they go grey, they're dead. Um, so one more to go. Okay, looks like uh, okay. Ultimate skill. She's going to do a little uh, animation there. Okay, so obviously uh, first set done. Obviously in a tutorial, we expect to go <laughs> go through that. Getting some uh, materials, getting some leveling, um, and now um, this is sort of like get to. What's this one here? A shrine or treasure? Let's try what the shrine is. Um, so I can seek vitality or prosperity. Let's seek vitality. Okay, so so obviously with these sort of games, it's more about the meta than the actual sort of gameplay, although obviously you are making strategic decisions. Um, so it looks like we've got a little boss uh, character here. Okay, so she is um, sort of stronger but it looks like I've got some of these um, oh that's a heal 
don't really want to do heal at the moment. Um, so maybe some of these bigger wildfire that looks like good. Um, okay, let's do that because he's doing his looks like it's his special attack. Um, and she's fighting back. And um, okay, that's going to do. He's okay. So they've all built up now over over the turns um, to really. Uh, give her a good pasting. What's this one? Undermine, not enough mana. Okay, so just do a basic attack there. Okay, let's just cycle through these basic attacks. I think we're going to win. We don't need any healing. There we go. So obviously with these sort of things, you know, blockchain works well because you have these cards which you own and then you have some of these items in the game as well which, which you'll be uh, owning. Uh, I don't know whether these are NFTs or not, but uh, we can see. So, what's going on here? Ultimate attack has 50% of creating up to two base attacks. Okay. So, I found an artifact. Okay. Uh, check, e check out each artifact. Yes. Indeed. Right. So, now I can treasure. I can do a temple probably for healing. Don't need healing. Um, let's try chance. That sounds a bit more interesting. Um, giant troll. Okay. Uh, let's crush the troll. Okay. So, okay, oh, we've got some XP, got some meat. Okay, that was that sort of a healing situation. So, we've got a temple or a battle. Let's try a temple. Um, okay. <laughs> so, oh, well, that was that was a healing thing. I didn't need to do that because we weren't uh, being attacked. So, what are we on to now? Uh, treasure. Okay, cool. So, not too many battles in this one. That's interesting. Getting some sausages. Can't go wrong with sausages. Uh, going through a temple. Okay, getting some healing. <laughs> Obviously, this is a, say a tutorial, so uh, it may not be like this in the actual game. <laughs> this is the alpha version, so getting some more meat. Oh, we're doing well on the meat front. Um, Shrine. I basically I chose the right option here. Um, coins. Okay, battle. Um, let's do a hard battle. So I'm using up some more energy. Um, okay, so I mean, I'm much stronger than them, so it should go down well. Um, let's just click through this. Um, so it has some slightly different sort of uh, options here. Okay, that gives me some armor. Um, so, buff usual sort of attack, attacking the enemy or, or buffing my own characters. Um, don't need any healing. So we're sort of going through these guys fairly quickly. He says, "Hopefully, okay, yeah." Remember, this was a hard battle as well. So, um, <laughs> okay, so more XP, more coins. Almost towards the end here, aren't we? Battle. We've just done that. Treasure. Get some loot chest. Feathers. Oh, feather. oh, revive feathers. They might be a bit more useful than feathers. Another battle. So we've got a battle, a uh, shrine, and um, a final boss battle before we finish this tutorial. Okay, going pretty well. I wonder if should be saving these for the boss, but. Uh, Hmm. Not quite sure. Okay, good. XP and coins. Are we getting any? Yeah, good. Okay, temple. Um, gain energy. Oh, I've got some energy. Okay, that's useful. And now final. Okay, that's this boss lady again. Okay. So, um,. Don't, uh, don't really need a heal. Let's try some of the more powerful attacks now. Let's see if we can finish her off quickly. Obviously, as you go through the game, sort of choosing your deck and choosing your characters will become a bit more important, I would think. Um, doesn't really matter so much. Okay, victory. Doesn't matter so much in the tutorial. Boom. Okay. Nice. Uh, okay. Oh yes. Okay. Oh, some shards and a crown. So you can sort of see. Maybe I don't know if that's an NFT or not, but um, you can sort of see how how you're going to kind of win, start winning some items that are useful. Uh, keep exploring the ruins.
Okay, so um, we'll leave it there. We can see, um, so I've used up some energy. I've got some gold. Don't we really know what that does? <clears throat> this dungeon is open for a bit longer. Let's look at my heroes. Maybe you can do some leveling up. Okay, so let's, uh, yeah. Yeah, so these can all be leveled up now. Probably going to cost me some gold, I would think. You can level up and evolve your heroes. Don't forget to check out their skills. So level up is going to cost <clears throat> the XP I've got already. And how much? Uh, okay, so I'm not going to be able to level them all up by looks of things. I can level him up again. Fusion will be if I get extra cards. I Actually, I can't level him up because I've not got enough XP. So I wonder if I can probably move to the next one. Okay. So I'm going to get two more I can do. Okay, so that's my. I got one. No, so that's, that's all that done. So that's my gold done. So some of these are level two, some are level one. That'll be for next time. Um, what else have we got to flick through? Um, marketplace. Um, well, that's where I got that pack from. Probably not gonna. Two barrel. Oh, okay. So interesting. This this pent arc shard. Five cards per pack. I've got one of those. Um, uh, do some minting again. Okay, cool. And is there one more available? Oh, what's this one? I need a hundred dust. That looks much, that looks much cooler. Legend. <laughs> uh, which one? Well, what's this telling me? I don't know. But it's saying I should have one more, but uh, one available. Don't quite know why it's not minting now. Um, so in my collection here, I've got the, these and I've got a starter pack. Let's see if I can open that starter pack. Um, open pack. Okay, obviously you could, if you didn't want to open the pack, you could keep the pack and probably maybe sell that on a marketplace, you could imagine, as, an, as we would see with NFTs. Um, slightly weird that it's not showing me uh, what cards I got, but um, I guess it is a two, is a early version of the game. So um, have I got any more heroes? Yes. So um, can't remember what, what the first ones I've got. So I've got some extra cards. So you can see I've got some duplicate cards now. Um, so I've got two of these and two of those and two of those. I've got two of everything. Uh, really, right? I haven't got two of this one. Um, so whether I can go in and do fusion probably won't have enough materials for that. Um, obviously, I haven't looked at the skills, the fire stuff that this guy's going to do as a as a blacksmith. Um, okay, getting hang of it now. Going to click on here, see what this gives me. Um, so I can uh, claim claim some win some stuff there. Coins, revive uh, revive feathers, energy potions. Okay, so that would be helpful that I can then level up some more heroes um, but I won't do that just now um, why is that still clicking red a marker wall, maybe okay okay so that gives us a sort of a a brief overview into what's going on in the alpha so um, you don't need anything to play this you can just go to the uh, to the website I put the link in the video um, and you can create an account just using email um, all the blockchain stuff I believe is happening in the background you can log in I think with uh, metamask accounts that looks like it was one of the options available, but you don't need to do that. Um, and as I say, this is all alpha, so I don't know whether these you will whether these um, items will be kept into the main game or whether they'll um, won't run them over and you, you'll sort of start again from scratch. But basically, the idea is you know to get a get a feel of how the game works um, and uh, yeah, that sort of stuff. Okay, thanks for watching. See you again soon.